that it was built and installed was the same year that a picture called The Jazz Singer oh, yeah. came out with Al Jolson. It was the first uh, sound track, which kind of spelled the death knell for theater organs in a lot of theaters. So uh, after it was removed, it went through several ownerships to different places. It was installed at the Lakewood Theater out on Gaston Avenue and was there for four or five years. Theater flooded, console floated, and it went in for a great deal of uh, repair. It was originally a pipe organ, and now it is a digital replica. Uh, everything that uh, was available through pipes and wind chests and blowers and so forth is now available on a computer disc. And the organ was, uh, in its original state, had 10 ranks of pipes, that is 10 sets, individual sets of pipes. Today it has the capacity to control 31 sets of pipes because of the uh, digital processing. And the whole thing runs on the computer. And the great manual, the, the primary manual, starts here and goes around to this break and is repeated down here as well. And then the top manual is over here on this side. And these back row are special controls that make things happen. Uh, the snare drum that I spoke of. Well, you can literally be a one-man band. Tap cymbal, sizzle cymbal, all playable. From the